Hello, I'm Carlos Vercote and welcome to this Blu-ray update on today, Saturday the 14th of April 2012. Now today I've got a couple of titles to show you, um, a couple of ones I picked up this week, um, actually, um, so I'm just going to get started on that. There's no Disney's in this, um, so yeah, we are going to start off with um, a pretty big um, pretty big thing for me to get, um, something that is not Disney and it is the Sound of Music, the... Um, 45th anniversary uh, kind of Blu-ray and DVD kind of combo pack, big box kind of thing. Um, it's limited edition. It's really really nice, um, and you get loads of great stuff in this box. Um, I was pretty um, pleased because I managed to find it. It was one of them, you know, them one day deals that Amazon.com did. Um, I actually got this for just over twenty pounds, including post and packaging. I think it was twenty pounds and sixty two p from Amazon dot com. It was on their gold box deals, um, you know, them kind of things they do. So um, I was really, really um, pleased to manage to pick this up for really cheap. And um, took about two or three weeks to come, but that doesn't really um, bother me. I'm just really pleased to have it. I know it has been shown before. I'm just going to quickly have a um, quick look through this and um, show you what's inside if you've not seen before you might want to have a quick look um, as we can see the first thing here it is limited edition I've got 26,078 out of 250,000 um, a very very nice kind of slip cover type thing here let's just take this off so that just comes off there um, and you've got a very very nice artwork just there this of course is the 1965 film we then open up oh let's see if I can yeah we then open it up like that, and out comes the certificate of authenticity that just fell down there. Um, very, very nice. Um, and it's kind of like tracing paper type thing. Um, that's good. And then we actually, I need to show you that there. The top of the box the lid kind of says favourite things. Very, very nice. We then um, open it up, and we have this book. So I'll just, I'm not going to go through every page, but let's just show you. Um, a bit of stuff. This is a really nice um, hardcover book which was produced um, specifically for this edition. Um, very, very nice um, images and things. I've not read it yet but um, I will get around to um, one day um, having a quick look. Sorry I can't show the whole thing. I've not got a big enough camera. <laughs> I could have gone handheld for this but um, I thought nah, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, um, I'm sure other people have done better um, looks at that book if you wanted to have a um, quick look okay we then um open this up here and um uh, we have then got the blu-ray and um, this is really really nice and um, comes in a very nice slip cover which is always great you don't often get slip covers when they come in these kind of um packages so it's always really nice stuff well actually as it's a u.s edition you probably do um just have a quick look there um this is very very nice it comes in my favorite style case which is this kind of one here, um, I don't know if you know your different styles of cases, but this is definitely my favourite. Um, just so smooth, um, you get your single, well, no, this is the feature film, special features on the Blu-ray, then have your additional special features on the second Blu-ray, DVD of the film with a couple of special features on there, and then a very nice soundtrack um, kind of thing there. So that's a really, really nice addition, um, really, really good stuff. I'll try and zoom in on the bonus features there, you might want to have a quick look, you might want to pause that if you want to see. Um, this actually says on the back there, if you can see, it says Region A, but um, the, both the Blu-rays work in my player, so that's great. The DVD obviously doesn't because um, it's Region 1, but um, it's great because um, I don't have to go and double dip with the, um, the Blu-ray. I can keep that very, very good stuff. That's not all we get in this. We've got some more stuff. Um, we get this little book down here, um, which is, I think, what is it? It's reprint of the theatrical um, souvenir book so this was um, released in 1965 very very nice stuff um, another little book to read, I've not read it yet um, I will get around to, doing, <laughs> to reading one day um, we've got a couple of other things um, we've got some postcards in here um, some nice postcards called Snapshots from Salzburg um, I think you get about five in there was it five or something like that um, very very nice stuff there and then the final thing we get um, is something that very, very nice for them to put in with a DVD edition. So my phone keeps going. Um, <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, there we have um, this nice little music box. It says my favourite things on the front. And um, I won't kind of play it for copyright reasons and all that kind of stuff. But um, if you wind that up, 
it's a music box and it plays um, my favourite things. So that's really, really good. Um, I was really, really pleased to pick this up. This was um, released a couple of years ago now, actually, on the 2nd of November 2010. I'll just nudge the camera. Let's move it back. There we go. Um, 2nd of November 2010. Um, yeah, I, I've just mentioned I got it uh, from Amazon.com. Let's just, I'm not going to put all the contents back in, but let's just put back the slip cover back on. Yeah. So there we have, that is um, a very quick um, review or look at the Sound of Music, the Blue Rain DVD combo pack, um, big limited edition box kind of thing. I'm very, very pleased to fit this up. For only £20, um, it was definitely worth it. And I'll be looking around for more Amazon um, Gold Box deals in the future. So that's kind of the main thing I'm showing you today. Let's move that off to the side. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you is something um, I've only just picked up, even though it's been out for a while, and some people will be quite surprised I've not picked this up yet. And it is High Possum's Deathly Hallows Part 2 on the Triple Play Edition. And um, I was holding back for this because, even though I love Harry Potter, I love the films and stuff, I... Oh, I don't know. I really enjoyed this film, but I wasn't that bothered to go and to watch it again at home, you know, you know what I mean? Like, um... At when it came out, I went to see it a couple of times at the cinema and um, really enjoyed that. But um, until now, I've not really been that bothered. I saw it in HMV for just £11 and I was like, yeah, I've got to pick that up. Um, I can't wait any longer. I um, went and got it. It had the slip cover. Very, very nice stuff. Um, for only £11, it was definitely worth it. Let's um, take it off. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because people have seen this before. Um, I've used my digital copy. Um, you get your Blu-ray of the movie. Blu-ray special features just there and the DVD of the movie. It's a nice set, um, I have watched this again. Incredible movie, as everyone knows. Um, but yeah, so that is High Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. That is the um, the triple play edition on Blu-ray. Next, oh God. <laughs> Next up, we have the Karate Kid. This is the double play edition. Um, very, very nice, this one. Um, this isn't something I would normally pick up. I just saw it for £3, new in, um, in the HMV with the slip cover. Um, great stuff. I thought, yeah, I've got to pick this up. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, I've not watched it again on Blu-ray. I have seen it before. It came with a slip cover, so I was like, yeah, I've got, I've got to take it. Um, it's quite nice stuff. You get, obviously, you get your um, Blu-ray there. Is that Blu-ray? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Um, yeah, and then we have our DVD just there. Um, so... Yeah, not much to say about that one. Um, this was released on the 15th of November 2010. Um, actually, I should have mentioned that um, High Potter and Death House Part 2 came out on the 2nd of de December 2011. Oh, God, I can't even put this back in. There we go. This is the 2010 remake of the original film. Um, I quite enjoy it, so I'll be watching that on Blu-ray soon, I think. Okay, that is that one. Next up, we have a couple of films which I got secondhand. We have Mamma Mia, um, a film I love. I absolutely love this film. Um, I think it's great. It's got a fantastic cast. Um, a really, really fun, um, fun musical. Um, this is the 2008 film. This was released on Blu-ray back on the 28th of November um, 2008. Um, I managed to pick this up for just £2.99. Um, I thought it was worth it. You get just get your standard... Um, Blu-ray. It's a bit annoying because it actually says 001 on on the disc. Someone's written that on. I don't know why, but um, I guess I guess I shouldn't be that bothered about that. Um, yeah, not much more to say about this one. Oh yeah, there you go. Still got a stick on the back. Um, this was from B.com, which is actually a shop. I shouldn't really say B.com, but just saying B sounds a bit weird. Um, B.com um, is a is a shop that sells secondhand stuff. So yeah, um, that was quite nice. That's good. Um, and finally today we have this one. It is Batman Begins on Blu-ray. Um, this one is a film I saw a long time ago. I've not seen it for a while. I thought because we've got Dark Knight Rises coming out um, this year, I will, I'll re-watch the Batman films. So we've got Batman Begins here. I thought I'd pick it up on Blu-ray. Um, this is the... When did this come out? 2005? Yes, 2005 film. This Blu-ray didn't come out until the 14th of July 2008. I got it for £5. Um, second hand, that is maybe quite expensive. I don't know, um, really. Was it worth £5? I will have to re-watch it, see if it's worth the Blu-ray. Um, picking up on Blu-ray. You never know. 
Um, quite nice stuff. This one was actually from CEX, um, at the Entertainment Exchange place. Let's take off that bit of sticker. There we go. So yeah, um, that is pretty much everything I've got Blu-ray wise over the last week or so. Um, I've got some other Disney DVDs which I'll be doing a separate update for um, in the next couple of days. Um, I also picked up some CDs and things um, as well, but they will be shown in a different video. So today we had this uh, Blu-ray update in which I showed The Sound of Music, um, the uh, 45th anniversary Blu-ray and DVD um, limited edition box thing in the day. We have the um, High Pass and Deathly House Part 2 Triple Play. We have the Karate Kid, the Double Play Edition there. We then have Mamma Mia on Blu-ray. And finally, Batman Begins. Okay, thank you very much for watching this, um, this Blu-ray update on today, Saturday the 14th of April 2012 from me, Quella Stickout. I hope um, you enjoy it. Please leave comments um, down below. I um, hope you enjoy this. Any, if you've got any questions about any of these editions, um, obviously there's not that much, but um, if you've got any questions you want to ask me, any comments about my collection, anything like that, um, please don't forget to leave a comment, send a message, or click that like button. That's always nice to click that like button. Um, yeah, so don't forget to tune in for more um, Blu-ray and DVD updates all the time here on my channel, as well as my Disney News show. That is on a Sunday. That'll be coming out tomorrow. Please don't forget to check that out for your, all your latest Disney news. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.